What is up guys and gals, welcome back to Stan's Witch, and this background may look a little bit familiar. Um, this is the same game that I was playing in my last Factory Simulator video, uh, made by Miss Mythic in the Discord server for the Gaming Glow Studios, and she's added quite a few more things, which you'll see here in a second after I turn around. Um, I guess she recommended kind of I check it out, and so I was like, hey, let's make a video over it, just because I've had me. I haven't made any factory simulator stuff in a while, so I'd like to make some content for the game. Granted, this isn't actually in the game, but um, her hopes, and I guess my hopes too after seeing some of the stuff, is that this stuff will be Im implemented into the game in one way or another. Maybe just the idea of them, or actually the physical models themselves we put into the game, but as you can see, they're very high fidelity, just meaning they're high quality, and I think they're worth putting in a game. Um, I'll definitely give some of my feedback on some of these things, and I'm also going to go over the things that were already in this game as like a showcase that I didn't go over last time. So I just went over, I think, two of the conveyors that I Love Gloves commented that he liked, but this time I'm going to go over all of them plus the new things. So if you notice over here to my left, it looks like this nice glowing... Uh, I don't know what, but it's a mouse pad. And so this side, um, the little... Little peek over here, I guess I'll show it. But this is a um, laptop she made with a nice little pink wireless mouse, and she just put on a screenshot of the game. But one thing is, she added a concept UI. So besides just, let me let me see if I can zoom out. Oh, besides just the models and actual like 3D physical things that she's making in the game. Granted, they aren't physical because they're in the game, but the actual things she's making. Um, she also does, I guess, concept UI stuff as well. I don't know if she just started doing that, but so this is a bit different than the model she's making. But I was looking at this earlier. I didn't really understand exactly what it is, but I guess it has to do with um, you can set up your conveyors or hopefully pipes in the future, which I went over in my last factory simulator video, to accept certain things and output certain things. And like for this example, you can wait for it to fill up to 50 of whatever item, I guess the basic container, and then output, it'll output 100 of them simultaneously, so just a clump of 100. So that's interesting, I guess. I don't know how that would work as far as coding, but the, the big thing is like the channel options. I don't get this. Right elbow times 1,000, triple splitter times 500. And what all this stuff means like I feel like I would need more explanation from her I don't know if she can put it down in the comments if you're gonna watch this I would appreciate that um, or some way to explain what this means cuz this it's kind of confusing looking at it but I feel like maybe hopefully I hit the what is it the head the head of the nail with the input and output kind of maybe in this case you're waiting to fill 50 and then 50 more and then when you have a hundred you output a whole block of 100. And then there's also a cost associated with it, so I guess it would cost you money to set up these automated systems. So that, that'll be interesting to see if that's actually implemented into Tier 7 or any of the other updates. But time to get into the actual um, stuff. This is the new stuff that was added, and these two rows are already in the game, plus this little thing back here. But real quick, I'm going to look at this little disclaimer that she put. Yo, just a disclaimer or a forward slash disclaimer from mythic or miss mythic gloves have never shown any actual model leaks about fluids yet i'm referring to tier 7 so these are purely my own concepts slash designs and may not appear at factory simulator itself even if they somehow do in the future expect different iterations to them like i was saying um, i would like to see maybe these exact models but if not they'll probably be something close enough and will hopefully take you know inspiration from these models but so let's go over all these i guess we'll go over one row at a time so let's start with this row so this one is just a overhead crane tier 7 port crane concept so i guess it's kind of based off of the type of cranes they have at shipping ports um in that take you know the containers off of ships and put them on other ships or on trains or trucks to be taken somewhere else so that's where this is from and it's definitely an interesting concept i don't know how fast it would move because definitely with the new item system it would probably have to be pretty efficient for it to be useful next is turns plates into components this is this i guess kind of a like an upgraded version of the current assemblers um just with how they look um, as also as far as the inputs instead of the input being on either side they're both kind of on the same side and then I guess these little middle bars are look like 3d printer type setup slash like um, I can't even think like 
routers, um, like machines, just, I guess, um, machining tools, like um, cutters, stuff like that. But it is like, looks more advanced, and so it looks like it would fit tier 7 rather than lower tiers. I don't know if they have any other applications beside that, but they also look very cool. This one, I kind of like this. I don't know how well it would work or what its applications would be, but it just, whenever something goes by, it just pushes it. And so it just like transfers from one conveyor to another. Um, I don't know if it would do literally every single one, because if you wanted to do that, you could literally just use containers to move things over to different conveyors. So I don't know the applications of this piston. Um, next is a merger. This one probably be quite useful. Just have a merger in general. I don't know if I'd use all three slots, but I feel like there's been times where I would use at least two of the slots to have a one output. So this would be something I'd like to definitely see in game. Um, next is the conveyor merger. So instead of a um, container merger, it's a conveyor merger. But this one only has two inputs and it puts it down to one. And then this is the exact opposite. So I guess this one, it would split one into two. But you could also make it to where it just splits one into one or one into the other. I don't know how exactly that would work. Then this one, a T junction. This one looks cool. So I guess it would, for example, flow left to right. Both of these would. And then you could just have something come down here from the top and it would start flowing along the right or from the bottom start flowing along to the right. So just add it into the current flow. So that would be something that's very useful. Um, it's another version kind of the merger, but definitely more compact as you can see. Next is a sweeper conveyor concept prevents items from clogging this i don't think would be really put to the game especially with the new um <coughs> sorry with the new item system i definitely think that it isn't needed it's a very cool concept for the old system but i think this would kind of i think it's kind of obsolete at this point also i don't know how it would prevent clogging exactly because i feel like it would you start getting multiple items in each of these four kind of compartments eventually you get more than one and so it kind of clog up eventually so i don't know how efficient that would actually be but like i said i don't think it'll actually be implemented into the game next is turn scrap and research bits and then this one's kind of paired up with this one researcher these are kind of things i think i'm gonna assume she took some uh inspiration from satisfactory because in that game they have like a deconstructor type thing as well um, I'm trying to th I can't remember what it's called. I haven't played Satisfactory in a while, but you put your extra items into it, and it destroys the items, but it, it takes points out of those items. The higher refined items and the higher kind of level items that have been refined more and gone to more processes are worth more points. And then when you get to a certain amount of points, you can print them out in the form of tickets, and then you spend those tickets at another thing to unlock new buildable items or just new um, disposable items. And so maybe that's something that she was kind of trying to think of for this. And so that'd be an interesting idea. And like I said, I'm not 100% sure. I can't read her mind and I haven't asked her. But I assume this probably drew some inspiration from Satisfactory um, or other games. I don't know if any other games have things like this. But we're going to run back to the start. And we're going to head back down this other row. This one is, let's see. I don't really understand the difference between these two. But they're both kind of cranes. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, okay. I think I, I think I understand. So, this one, I think, there'd be two conveyors, kind of one where I'm standing right now, like facing this direction, and then you could have another one facing this direction or facing the other direction. And so it would, it would just, it would stay in this spot, and all that would move is this. Like it would, I don't know, it would move side to side. And so you'd have two conveyors running underneath here because there's what. Well, there's six spots underneath here, so you could have, you could honestly have three conveyors, I guess. I don't know how that would work with the crane, how it would operate or know the difference, but that's how that one works. Then this one looks like this thing stays this this still, but it moves back and forth. So I don't know if you could have it to where, maybe make it so it extends over a little bit to where you could have a conveyor going this way and a conveyor going this way and it transports them, or if you need them kind of going through the middle or how that would work. I don't understand that exactly and so this is another set of assemblers this one would turn plates into brackets so i guess this is another advanced kind of assembler concept for tier 7 
Um, I don't know if... I guess she just left the sides open is what's happening. Because there's no way those are all input. So I think that's what happened. This, uh, also the same thing kind of happened right here. So I'm just going to assume she left the sides open. I don't know if that's something she meant to leave open or what's happening with that. But just more tier 7 assemblers. This one um, it's kind of like the piston. Except that an item has to go in to trigger the piston. I would say this could be a valuable item but you have to add an input and an output. There is currently just an input, so yeah, when an item goes in, excuse me, as a filter, it pushes something over, but that means you're kind of just wasting an item. So I would say put the input on maybe the side, or keep it on, keep it here, then put another one on the side, we have an output. So maybe you have a conveyor of just a bunch of stone going by, and then you have one dispenser of wood so you have a lot less wood than stone and so the wood goes into this it pushes one stone off the wood goes out and then the stone that was pushed off and the wood go to the same machine and then all the other stone that wasn't pushed off goes to just get sold that makes sense so have it to where it also outputs items so that item that caused it to push can be combined with the pushed item into you know something else in an assembler so i think that would be a maybe a better way to actually integrate it into the game next is he teleports items from input to output i don't know how uh, that would be received by i love gloves i don't know if that's kind of a some game breaking thing or not because there isn't much i don't know technology in the game isn't like that advanced granted there's like a teleporter but that's like some magic thing not technology so i don't know how teleporters like i said would be received by lf gloves it's definitely just something that we have to wait for the future to see if it's actually implemented in i went over these two conveyors in the past video factory simulator this one is just it moves things over one so pretty useful there's a short version and a long version i don't know if the, sh the long version would really, really be used, it, I feel like the sh short version would be all you needed. Um, I don't know how it would work as far as items going through here, if they could get clogged by chance, but we'll just have to see. Maybe the long version would be needed to prevent any clogging. And then this one is the same as this, except you can block off inputs from the sides. You could just have things going from left to right, and then only um, at times except things going in and adding into it. So it's kind of like a merger, except you can tell it when you don't want to merge or not. I don't know, like for these ones, how you would kind of tell them, you know, I want to close the gate or like move the gate, but that would be something we have to figure out. Um, this one is a, let's see, this is a kind of um, producer, I guess. It's a large tool overhauled by Jack Cameron Cutter. So I assume there's supposed to be kind of more to this. It would have like a huge drill. I I don't know exactly, or, oh, I think instead of a drill like they usually, they have now, it'd be like a jackhammer and a cutter, just kind of on the block, and then that's what these arms would be holding, I don't know if she's working on those, or will put them in, but that's, that's an interesting idea, I feel like that'd be better for like the trees, because the trees are just trees standing there, there's no like, saw or anything cutting into them, so that would make sense, and then this one is a disassembler, um, I don't know, kind of with the teleporters, how this would go into the game mechanics as far as disassembling things and also don't really understand the point of it as far as like once you make things like usually you want to sell them because they're worth more at that point and then if you want to disassemble them just don't assemble them in the first place so i guess that's another thing that i don't really understand the, the point of but we'll, we'll see and now time for the brand new things that weren't in the last video um, this one, this has to do with all tier 7. I went over how tier 7 is going to have liquids most likely, or just, it was pretty much confirmed to have liquids. So, this one is a very basic on-off switch for a liquid with actual moving gates that open up or close. And so, I don't know how these would be affected if, or controlled as far as if you have to go up to them yourself, click on these to turn them, or how that would work. These ones are just basic pipes, basic straight pipes, short and then longer ones. I wonder if it'd be like factory simulator, well, you have unlimited, like, you choose the length as you build it, or if you'd have to 
by a bunch of small segments. We'll definitely see. Then this one is kind of an upgraded pipe because it shows you how much is going to the pipe per second. Um, I don't know if that would be you know liters or gallons per second, but that's definitely a very cool idea. That's something that's available in factory simulator on any pipe. It's not like an upgrade. You just click on the pipe. You can see how much is moving through it. And then these are kind of like the conveyors. They just move everything over a little bit. It's an elbow pipe kind of, um, or ch chicane, chicane. I don't know how you pronounce it. And then. This one is a basic elbow pipe, just turns liquids, and then your T-junction and your plus junction, oh, that's what it's called. And then finally, we have our fluid tanks. I would assume, I don't know what the color is for, I guess it's for the different fluids. Um, they probably would be colored differently because I think, what was the, what was the new, I guess the new um, theme was like dragons and, I can't remember actually. But it was like it was like dragons and something, so I think the color would have to change a bit. But and also the size, I think they'd have to be much larger because these are tanks. Granted, they are supposed to be dispensing fluids into a system, so I'd assume these kind of would be attached to a machine that the machine would do something with the liquids. But I still feel like they would be bigger if they were just basic storage tanks as well, which I feel like that's something that all should be added in, like a fluid buffer, which is again a satisfactory. So. You have an input on one side, it fills up, and then you have an output. So you can have excess in the in the um, in the tank, and then whatever needs to be taken out by the machine is taken out the other side. So I feel like that's something that you know she might be working on. That might be a separate thing besides these, or could be added onto this or modified with this. Excuse me. And then next something she hasn't done yet is turbo pipe. So I guess that would be a pipe that speeds up the liquid um, and how fast it's moving. I don't know what the current rate would be or anything and how fast liquids would be. And because I feel like with how the model system works currently for solid objects for liquids, I feel like things would kind of flow instantly or very quickly. So we'll definitely have to see, but there's definitely a lot to kind of digest in this video. Hopefully y'all got all of it and understood all of it, but there's definitely a lot of stuff that I like to see. There are a few things, though, like I said, that I don't know the, how useful they would be, like the piston and um, the super conveyor concept. And then but other things, definitely questioning, I guess, their, their use and if they would be used with the teleporters and the disassembler. But besides that, there's still plenty of things, plenty and plenty of things that I think are great ideas. All the fluid stuff, it looks great. It definitely can be used. The cranes, they're kind of confusing, um, but I think I kind of figured them out. I guess you, you slash she can, you if you're watching this, and then she, maybe the Discord can let me know if I was right. Um, these, I, like I said, I think are kind of just advanced assemblers. Everything else is a lot of transportation stuff. And then this UI is definitely something that's confusing, but um, hopefully I could figure it out or I can get some explanation for it. So we definitely have to look into that. But for now, hopefully y'all enjoyed all of that um, fresh kind of new ideas from Miss Mythic. You know, all credit goes to her. I didn't do any of this. This is all her. But she said at the beginning, I'm sorry, but I'm saying it now. So, um, you know, if you have any questions, ask her in the Discord, in the Gaming Gloves Studio Discord. And then, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy that though. Um, I did. This is kind of my first time actually going over some of these things. So these are kind of just like fresh reactions to them. And then, yeah, hopefully we'll definitely see these in the game in the future. And hopefully we'll get some kind of news for the, the update whenever it comes out. Because we haven't heard anything in a while. So definitely waiting to hear stuff about that. But regardless, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll catch you next time. So peace out.